In this problem, we have to find something called the total differential solution. So to find the total differential, we have to use the following formula. So dz is equal to del f del x dx plus del f del y dy. Okay, so this whole piece here, this is our f, this whole thing here. Right? It's the same thing as z. So f of x, y is equal to z. So let's do it in steps. So del f, del x. So when you compute del f, del x, you fix all of the other variables. Everything is constant except x. So here the 3 will come down, so we'll get 6x squared. Right? We'll use the power rule. And the y hangs out because the y is a constant. And then here, the 8 and the y to the 4th hang out. Right, so we just take the derivative of x, which is 1. So we get minus 8y to the 4th. Now we'll compute del f del y. So del f del y. Now we hold all of the x's constants. So we're just taking the derivative with respect to y. So in this first term up here, the 2x cubed hangs out, and the derivative of y is just 1. So we get 2x cubed. And this piece here, the 8x hangs out, so we bring the 4 down using the power rule, so 32, because 4 times 8 is 32, the x hangs out, and then it's y, and then 4 minus 1 is 3. That's the power rule, right? Just bringing the 4 down, 4 times 8 is 32, 4 minus 1 is 3. Yep, looks okay. So now we can write down the final answer. So dz is equal to del f del x, which is right here. So parentheses 6x squared y minus 8y to the fourth dx, yep, looks okay, plus and del f del y, which is right here. So 2x cubed minus 32xy cubed dy. Yep, looks good. And that is the total differential. I hope that made sense.